I'm being silenced. I'm being silenced. Through your minds. What are we talking about, bro? What the f I've given you a career. I wrote every f verse you've done. I don't need a writer. I never did, and I never wanted to use one. And it's getting worse after Bolt got on live and did all that cap. That's all I'm trying to say is I want to drop. So a couple of weeks ago, towards the end of August, many of you will have seen that Caribou left Lil Yachty's Concrete Boys Collective, but it wasn't just as simple as, oh, we just mutually agreed that she will no longer be part of the group. I mean, Yachty did try to do that when he first went on IG Live to announce that she left. He quite literally said, yep, she's left, I have nothing to say, wish her the best. But the situation would explode on social media as a fan would expose how Caribou supposedly told her that she was actually bullied and kicked out of the Concrete Boys which then led to Lil Yachty biting back, dropping an entire expose on Instagram Live on how Caribou herself is actually the bully, she's 900k in debt, he wrote all her songs and quite literally made her entire career, just for her in return not to treat him or his friends with any respect or love back, he even said that she bullied his workers or his security guards. Bro, go ahead and tell people how you talk to people. How you tell my security guy, oh, you homeless, oh, you work for me, you're poor, we above you, and how you, you talk to people like they nothing. You $900,000 in a hole, and I got every receipt. I wrote that verse when we went on on the radar this would keep going on social media though they would post some ig stories back and forth and caribou at some festival she would go on stage and repeat multiple times who ain't right it whilst also performing in a not particularly full crowd and she would then go on to claim that she's actually wrote her most popular songs she would post this story showing her top three most streamed songs on apple music running late where your daddy and on the radar cypher which the on the radar freestyle being the one Yachty wrote and even posted the reference track for. So Caribou would post these three most popular songs, highlighting the first two, which she would caption, put it on your kid and you write these songs Miles. Stop the cap and leave me out of your internet shenanigans. Now in my last video I made about her, I just took her word and believed her that she did in fact write her two most popular songs. But I'm not sure why I believed her because academics would actually come out and state that Yachty's friend and Mitch actually wrote Where's Your Daddy. Put it on your kid, I didn't write these songs, but it was two other songs, right? And then we, or I heard from a confidential source that uh, the Where Your Daddy track was actually written by Mitch. So on the radar, Yachty, Where Your Daddy, Mitch, and I don't know who, ran, who wrote the first one, but probably, rest assured, it's probably a writer. And not to forget the drama with Mitch, which funnily enough, his podcast with Yachty is yet to return after they're falling out. But that's a whole separate thing. I mean, it's kind of in the same situation, but that's a whole separate thing. We're talking about Caribou in this video. Anyway, so of course, it's not looking great for Caribou. She herself claimed that she only wanted to be a rapper so she could become an actor. I literally am only rapping because I saw Bo doing a movie when I was his assistant. That's the day I was like, I want to be a rapper because like, you could just be an actor. Her whole career seemed very industry plant-like and now she's being exposed by Yachty and academics. Her career has taken a very sharp turn in the matter of weeks because I generally thought she was going to become quite big. Like I remember like a month ago or so, every time I refreshed Twitter, all I saw was her on the radar freestyle. Well, anyways, even after all this drama that happened in late August, Caribou is yet to drop her debut album, which at first I remember when the first started, people thought her leaving Concrete was actually just promo for her album and that she was going to call it Where's Caribou. But anyway, she is yet to drop and recently in some Instagram lives, she has been hinting that she's being silenced and just in general, she's acting quite odd, which some people have been viewing as a cry for help. What's up? I just want to tell y'all. <clears throat> this is serious. Everybody keeps asking, Caribou, when are you going to drop? When are you going to drop? <clears throat> oh. My tag's on, got in. But the answer to that, the answer to that question, when am I going to drop? The answer to that is 
me personally, I'm ready whenever. <laughs> if you get what I'm saying. Feel me. But yeah. Thank y'all for coming to my um, live. <laughs> Everything is fine and I'm okay. Love ya. Now I did try to look in the reflection of her glasses to see if Yotti was there holding her at gunpoint, but um, yeah. People were concerned for her after watching that clip, as of course this was one of her first times speaking about dropping music since she left Concrete. So this clip was reposted by many blog pages. Now there's many ways we can look at this. First of all, she's just trying to be funny or even purposely trying to act in a weird manner so this clip garners attention and gets spread around social media so everyone knows she's trying to drop music. Then the other way we can look at this is something is genuinely wrong with Caribou. Fans in the comments were suggesting she was on something and she was just geeking out. Well, Caribou would go on live again around a day later and go on a bit of a rant where she would express how she's been working on music by herself whilst also taking shots at academics. And of course, she had to include the by herself so people know nobody's writing it for her. Listen, for the, when I said, okay, listen, yesterday I got on live and whatever. Yesterday I did what I did, right? Basically, what I was, like, yesterday was unnecessary. I shouldn't have did it, right? And I'm sorry to myself, really, because, y'all. Uh, but the reason I got, was doing that yesterday is just because the past three months, I have been going through a lot of crazy sh And um, to get through it, I have been in the studio every single day by myself or with a friend or a manager. <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry oh my god like it's just so frustrating because i would love to share with you guys but you know it is what it is right i just chose to be silent and work on my music and you know prove myself through my music and that's what i was doing and i, I had a lot of music like I've, I've been working on a lot of music by myself no writer academics with your big bored ass, you're getting on my nerves. Cause all you do is yap all day and it's never like, it's never true. So what is the point of that? She would then basically almost break down and explain to her fans that she actually has been wanting to drop. But let me not do too much. Um, Y'all really don't know anything and you're gonna feel stupid later. <laughs> but really, all I was trying to do yesterday, like I really do apologize. I was playing too much. Like I've been going through a lot of and I use humor or joking around to get through sh to line up my sh just it just helps me get through sh as my coping mechanism. So I was playing too much on live. I'm sorry. I was frustrated and I was trying to hint. Well, I was just trying to tell y'all like, you know, everybody keeps saying like, oh, just f the bull just drop, you know, and it's just frustrating because I have the music I want to drop. I want to just show y'all through music. I don't want to do the Internet. Sh she would then explain how her situation with dropping music and her career in general has gotten worse after Lil Yachty exposed her on live. She would actually say that what Yachty said was cap, which no offense, Yachty did not seem like he was lying on that live. Like he was angry and he himself almost broke down while speaking about Karu on that live. And also speaking of Yachty, I actually feel bad for him even more because not only did he lose Karu, and it seems like Playboy Carti has also stole his guild Geo. So I don't know, man. Uh, it's not looking good for Yachty right now. Like, but it's just very frustrating and it's getting worse after Bolt got on live and did all that cap and all that extra sh and internet th theatrics. This sh is just really like hard on me and I'm working hard and I'm just like, y'all don't know nothing still and I can't really speak on it. So basically all I was trying to do yesterday was say, Everybody keeps telling me to just um, just drop and prove them folks wrong. And I want to drop. That's all I'm trying to say is I want to drop. That's all I'm trying to say. I want to drop. And it don't matter. Y'all y'all got your mind made up about me either way. But she cat, literally she cat, bruh. And like, 
I already okay. <laughs> Y'all got it though. Y'all got it though. I don't need a writer. I never did, and I never wanted to use one. And I don't know why um a writing for me on a song with five other matters when the song the songs that my songs my top songs with just me my solo songs it's on me and if it's not put it on your kid once again um this is my last time entertaining this bull it's just very hard as a woman in this everybody's trying to knock me down get in my way and i keep pushing through this fighting this and like just keep making it harder for me knowing i can't speak up for myself like <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna get off, but it's like a lot of people doubting you are So Caribou is clearly not okay and it seems like she's also not allowed to speak upon her situation due to stuff behind the scenes, which I'm presuming is due to her label situation. I don't even know if she's signed to Yachty, I'm pretty sure he said previously that he didn't even give anyone in concrete contracts or anything, like he spent his own money on them no label, budget or anything, but I think she is signed to quality control, so Yoti still might have some say in what goes on with her music, and she keeps also repeating how she wants to drop, but then doesn't elaborate, so again, I'm guessing something or someone behind the scenes is not letting her drop music, because she keeps repeating the fact she wants to drop, but it's clear she's not allowed to, which explains why she's been acting so weird over the past couple Instagram lives, and why in this one she started breaking down. She just wants to drop music and keep moving on with her career. She probably feels awful being stuck in this spot where her career is not even in her own hands. It's in the hand of some 40 year old label executive. Now some other things to clear up in that live, she said that academics was wrong about Mitch writing Where's Your Daddy, which I'm guessing she is just denying because she doesn't want to make herself look even worse. I doubt academics would speak about something without a reliable source. She would also then say how she never even wanted a writer in the first place, which I don't think really does anything. Like, okay, yeah, you didn't want one, but you still had Yotti make a reference track for your On The Radar freestyle, which is supposed to be a freestyle, um, but yeah, I don't think any of the On The Radars are freestyles because people go on there and then just perform release songs. I've never understood that. Now, as part of this return to social media, I guess you could call it, she would go on IG Live and show herself recording in the studio. Now genuinely, I'm not here to hate on Caribou, especially as it already seems like she has been going through it, but she didn't get a lot of good feedback from this live. From the clip that I found posted on YouTube, her opening line was, a punching inside the booth, I don't need no writer, to which people would begin clowning her in the comments. Wow, that engineer must hate his job, which is because she ended up being stuck on that exact bar for like 5 minutes, so the engineer had to just keep replaying it from that same part over and over again. Got the nerve to be sitting down recording like she nice. You gotta earn that. This type of performance is supposed to get you kicked out of the studio. Don't need no writing. It took you 4 minutes to spit 3 bars. So obviously she is still receiving a lot of hate with a lot of it probably being due to Yachty having a go at her on that live. Now personally I'm not a big hater. She's only been rapping for like a year and a lot of these comments just sound like old heads hating just to hate. You know everyone should always be supporting the new upcoming and the youth. I think I think she's got potential, I think the question now is, can she still keep her hype up without being in concrete and can she drop a big song or even an album with some hits without someone else writing it for her? Now this wouldn't be the end of her IG live spree as she would go on one more where again she would just start acting very weird.
just want to say something. I'll just have some things to say, but. I think I gotta do it. It's time to do it. I can't take this no more. Mm. Bro, oh my god, bro. Y'all just don't understand. You just don't. The game, bit, bro. No game. Again, something is so off. I can't tell if she's on something or she's tweaking out because her situation is so bad or it's a mix of both, which is definitely not a good place to be in. Again, she keeps repeating about wanting to say something but not being able to because she then even says she's being silenced. Thug and whoever else who need to be free. <laughs> help me. Help me. Help me. I'm being silenced. I'm being silenced. Three months. Side of the story, the truth and cat. Which story y'all think I'm gonna tell? The f <laughs> <laughs> okay, Don. Okay, I'm not gonna do it. My best friend's on here saying don't do it. F it. I was just joking y'all about her. So from the little knowledge I have from creating rap content over the past year or so, when Caribou dropped her first song, Yachty got her either to sign to him or his label Quality Control Music, where whilst they were on good terms, they gave her a big budget and let her drop music, probably because it got Yachty's approval as well. But now as Yachty said, she's in 900k debt, which I can't imagine that all being from marketing promo, maybe it was some promo, music video, Video shoes, designer clothes, private transport, studio sessions, whatever. So now she's in 900k debt on bad terms with Yachty, but is still signed to Yachty or the same label as QC. Basically, my point with that is it's a bit confusing, but when she was on good terms with Yachty, you know, she was getting all the funding, they were letting her drop music because it's being backed by Yachty, but now she's not on good terms with Yachty and she's in a bunch of debt, so the label probably lacks confidence confidence in her I would say. Like my guess is the label is concerned that if she doesn't drop a hit she is going to flop. Like when she was on good terms with Yachty and in Concrete Boys the label knew whatever she was going to drop was going to be fire because it was co-signed and probably co-created by Yachty who is a notorious songwriter and hit maker. But now she's solo and basically has the majority of the internet against her, the label is probably scared to let her drop by herself. I mean that's my theory 
scary anyways, we don't know what's actually going on behind the scenes unless Yachty, Caribou or even someone like Academic says something. The last breakthrough we got with the Caribou situation was literally a fan that met her at her work where she was ordering cookies, so yeah. Like she's got a lot of potential but the question is, can she keep it going without Yachty? On her Instagram a day ago, she previewed some new music she was featuring on and let's just say in the comments there was mixed reviews. But for me, what the glaring issue was is that almost every comment including Yachty's name in it. Yachty gone and now you're saying a whole lot of nothing. You can tell Yachty ain't right this. This button. Yeah, Yachty definitely didn't write this. I don't know man, of course the negative funny comments will get more attention than the positive ones but I guess all we can do is wait and see. I hope she can make something out of her career and hopefully not fade away without Yachty helping her. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you guys in the next one.